what comes to your mind when I say bubbles in food? For me, I think about ice cream, beer, champagne, yet there's one more bubbly food that has been on our tables for over centuries. A bubbly food that most of you here in this room today probably had for breakfast or for lunch. That bubbly food is bread, and for most of us, it's irresistible. But why? What is it that makes bread so appealing? Well, we love its aerated structure. And the good aerated structure depends directly on the air bubbles in the bread dough. Yes, bread dough contains billions of bubbles. And yes, these tiny bubbles significantly contribute to bread quality. I mean, if we can determine the sizes of these tiny bubbles at earlier stages of the bread making process, then we can predict the final product quality before we bake the bread. My research challenge is figuring out how to determine the sizes of these tiny fragile bubbles without destroying my dough sample. And that's how sound waves, x-rays, and dancing bubbles come together in my story. As a starting point, I use ultrasound waves. Ultrasound waves cause the bubbles in the dough to oscillate. This phenomenon is called resonance. So what's basically happening as I send sound waves through my dough sample is that I let the bubbles in the dough dance to the beat of the ultrasonic music. But different sized bubbles dance to different beats so that I can use this resonance behavior of the bubbles to size them. But here the question is, how do I know if the ultrasonic model is measuring the correct bubble sizes or not? Well, to find that out, I traveled to Saskatoon and I employed the most powerful X-ray beam at the Canadian Light Source, which is Canada's only synchrotron facility. The X-ray techniques that I use are very similar to a head CT scan in principle, so that I can see what's inside my dough sample without cutting it open. And I'm very pleased to say that I get excellent X-ray images of bubbles, but more importantly, I validated the ultrasonic model that I developed. My research is mainly focused on fundamentals of bubbles and how they change over time. And the same knowledge can be used to not only increase the intake of fiber, but also cut back on fat, cut back on sodium and additives. My bubble detection technique is going to control the quality of tomorrow's bread. So when you take a bite from your sandwich tomorrow at lunch, think about all the science that goes into it to make it this perfect. Have a nice bread, everyone. Thank you.